Okay, question 13, we have friction and forces. So, in this question, we are using G is 9.8 meters per second squared. A boy attempts to move a wooden crate of mass 20 kilograms along horizontal ground. The coefficient of friction uh, between the crate and the ground is 0.8. Five. The boy applies a horizontal force of 150 newtons so that the crate remains stationary. Okay, Let's draw a sketch. So, there's our crate, there's the ground. So, let's say that the boy is trying to push it from the right. And then, uh, well, first of all, let's talk about the forces acting up and down. So we know that the weight is the mass times gravity, so that's 20 times 9.8. The normal reaction force, R, is going to be exactly the same because the crate is not moving up or down. It's not accelerating up or down. So that's also 20 times 9.8. Now, let's say that the boy is pushing the crate to the left. So that is force of 150 newtons. Now friction is saying no and it's resisting that. Now friction is the coefficient of friction for which we usually use mu times the normal reaction force. Now mu is 0.85 R is 20 times 9.8, so the friction is, um, or the resistance force, uh, so the resistance force is 0 0.85 times 9.8 times 20. Now that is going to give us 166.6 newtons. Now 166.6 is greater than the force that the boy is applying, therefore Great. Doesn't move. Cool. Okay, then for part B. Instead, the boy uses a handle to pull the crate forward. He exerts force of 150 newtons at an angle of 15 degrees above the horizontal, as shown in the diagram. We are asked uh, to determine whether the crate will remain stationary. Okay, so again, let's do a little diagram. So, what we need to do is split this force through the handle, 150 newtons, we need to split that into its components. So the vertical component and the horizontal component. Now, sine of 15 is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Therefore, we get this. The vertical component is 150 sine 
15 and because of 15 is the adjacent over 150 so this palm is 150 cos of 15 now we know the weight of the crate is 20 g now the normal reaction force will have changed because now it's not the only force acting upwards. But what we do know is because the boy is only pulling the crate forward, the crate is not moving up or down. So what we know then is that the vertical forces are in equilibrium. So we know that R at 150 sine 15 is equal to 20 g. So we get that R is 20 g, so 20 times 9.8 minus 150 sine of 15. Now that is going to give us that R is equal to uh, 157.2 so 157.2 newtons now we can work out the friction or the resistance force again the resistance is mu times R so the resistant force is 0 0.85 times 157.2 uh, newtons and that gives us uh, 133.6 Newtons. Now we now know the horizontal driving force as well. That is the 150 cos 15. So the driving force is 150 cos 15, which gives us 144.9. Newtons. Now, 144.9 is greater than uh, 133.6. So, the crate starts to move.